I'm almost embarrassed to be sharing this story because it's so obvious. It's so obvious this is not a real person. It's so obvious that this is like probably not a person in the United States. Uh, this is the story time of how I got scammed like nobody's business trying to buy Harry Styles cherry pit tickets for the Harry Styles Love on Tour concert. Tour? I really wanted to have a snack for this, but I guess I'm just SOL and that's a sign. And I want a salad, but I don't want to cut up the lettuce. And I'm trying to film this before my boyfriend gets home because I live with my boyfriend and I'm shy and I wouldn't like to film in front of him in any scenario. Here's the backstory. I'm a big Harry fan. Obviously, I'm a woman who has great taste. So, of course, I like Harry Styles. I was an OG directioner. One Directioner, and that has carried on to become a Harry Styles stan, okay? Me and my best friend were planning on going to the Chicago concert. I live in St. Louis, she lives in Indianapolis. He was not going to Indianapolis, he was going to St. Louis and Chicago, but he was doing two nights in Chicago, like Friday and Saturday, and then the um, show in St. Louis was on a Wednesday, and my best friend is still in college, so she didn't wanna miss class to go. She's like, I can't miss class. I have three classes that day. It's just not going to work for me. We were planning on going to the Chicago concerts and the tickets, first of all, so freaking expensive because, you know, they're at resale price. It was like $350 for nosebleeds, like mezzanine tickets, $350 plus $390, like, min like around $400 <laughs> for the worst tickets. Plus we had to get a hotel and we were gonna stay one, we were gonna stay two nights. So we were gonna do Friday night, Saturday night, make a whole weekend of it, go out and everything. And then we were also gonna bring our boyfriends and like let our boyfriends go and do their thing. And the price was just really racking up. It was racking up, right? So we finally decide, you know what? This isn't our time. It's not gonna work out for us. We're not gonna go. But I live, I'm not gonna move my camera right now because it's perfect, but I'll show you. I can see the Enterprise Center from my apartment two blocks away where he was performing. And that night I see his, the day he's in St. Louis, I think it was October 16th if I remember correctly. It's probably not right. Anyways, I can see the buses. I can see the people lining up. I can feel the energy in the air. And all day long, I'm looking up tickets, looking up tickets every 20 minutes. The price is dropping $10, price is dropping $10, price is dropping $20. And I'm watching and watching. I remember just, I'm like sweating thinking about it because I remember I was sitting there like kind of shaking and like sweating like, oh my God, do I go, like, oh my God. And this was before I had a single friend in St. Louis. I did not have a single friend. I had met one girl who lived in my building that lives a couple floors below me that I'm now really good friends with. But we had only talked like one time and I didn't have her number. Only like our boyfriends had communicated and then we had like hung out as a group. So I had zero friends in St. Louis and I'm like, do I go by myself? Because I have always been a do it by myself kind of girl. And I was like, I think I need to pull the trigger. And I watched the prices fall, fall, fall. And I made a TikTok probably at like three or 4 p.m. And I was like, Harry Styles is in St. Louis. I live right by it. I think I'm gonna pull the trigger and go if the tickets get cheap enough. I forgot that this whole story was supposed to be about me being scammed. So let me rewind. I got scammed before this, okay? After we decide the Harry Styles concert in Chicago is not in the books for us anymore, I start, I don't know, something within me got sparked one day, which is like usually not good, I guess. And I think, let me look on Twitter for tickets. I could not be stupider. I get on Twitter and I'm searching Harry Styles Chicago, Harry Styles, whatever. Of course, there's people selling them. Are they real people? Are they real tickets? I don't know. So there's this girl, Maria. Maria. Let me show, I took screenshots. So I'm pulling up my album here just to make sure that I am accurate in my telling. 
I have Harry Styles, Harry album with screenshots. But she had tweeted, I don't have a screenshot of the tweet, but she had tweeted like, oh, I can't go to Harry this weekend. I'm so sad. I'm selling my tickets for cheap. Like, please buy them. And she used like the little puppy dog emoji, not puppy dog, but like the puppy dog eyes emoji. So it just felt so real. And she had like, her account was like a ton of Harry Styles stuff like retweeted. I think that what she had done was gone and found old Harry Styles tweets, not just Harry Styles tweets, but like tweets about him and One Direction in general. And they were old tweets, but I think she retweeted them that day. But because they're older, like it doesn't say when you retweet them, you know? There was red flags, but I got excited, okay? The Harry hype was so high. I really thought that I was about to do something, okay? So I DM this girl. I said, hi Maria, how much for your Harry tickets? And she said, how much are you offering? And I said, 650 total. And she said, okay, sounds fair. And then right here, I should have walked away, but I'm an idiot, okay? And how do you make payment? And do you have a Ticketmaster account? First of all, I'm thinking it's the broken English that should have set me off, but not everybody speaks perfect, perfect English especially in a bigger city and maybe she just has bad grammar and maybe it was just a typo. Like I'm really giving this girl 1 million benefit of the doubt, okay? And I say, yes, I do. I tell her what my ticket master is. And I said, I've never bought resold tickets before. So I'm not sure how the transfer process works. I can do whatever, Venmo, PayPal, like whatever you wanna do. And she said, Zelle is preferable. And I'm thinking like Zelle, that's bank account to bank account. That is as secure as it can possibly get. I was wrong, I was wrong about that. I said, that's perfect, I can do that. And she said, okay, that's good. Once you make the payment, I'm gonna forward them to your email immediately. And then she said, do you understand? And I'm like, this girl doesn't speak English or whoever I'm messaging with doesn't speak English, but still like, I just, I'm just an idiot. There's so many words. Oh. And I said, yes. And I'm being like, so nice. can you send a screenshot of your like confirmation before I send? Because I don't know, this was my idea of this is, you're giving me a little weird vibes, like send me, show me that you have the tickets. And then I said, and what number is your Zelle under? And she sent me a screen recording of the tickets um i don't think i have it anymore but she basically like opened her email it was like the you have tickets and then like back to my text and she said did you get it and then she sent me the phone number and i said yes thank you i'm going to send now and then when i typed in the phone number you know when you do it on zelle it says like are you sure you want to send money to so and so and it said Durell custom coston coston this will be relevant, okay? And I said, it says the number is under Darrell. Is that right? She said, yes, that's my boyfriend's, Darrell Kastan. I was like, okay, fair enough. Like, I don't know. So I send her $650. <laughs> and at the time, like, I'm doing okay financially right now, but at the time, like, I was not doing great financially. $650 was a ridiculous amount of money i had no business sending anyone 650 dollars okay okay hold on for confirmation please and at the time she was messaging back like every minute half a minute like so fast um seven minutes go by and i send question mark and she said hi resend the email please so i sent it and she said i'm sorry my boyfriend told me it's 800 dollars total please can you just balance up and I'll send it immediately to you. Do you understand? He yelled at me and asked me to send your money back and then it's $800 total. To avoid issues, you send $200 to the same account. Which anyways, I paid 650 so it would have been 150. So I said, send me the tickets and then I'll send you your 150. Like I'm trying to, I still, at this point, I don't know if I believe it or not, but I'm still giving her the benefit benefit of the doubt I still believe her story I'm like this is a girl her boyfriend's like Darrell is mean he in in her confirmation thing that she sent me like the screen recording they paid $800 for the tickets so it's like it makes sense that they're asking for $800 because that's what they paid okay and I said you know my Zell I'll send you my ID I'm just not trying to get scammed send me the tickets and then I will send you the $150 
She said, I know, but try to understand me, babe. You won't get scammed, trust me. I'm almost embarrassed to be sharing this story because it's so obvious. It's so obvious this is not a real person. It's so obvious that this is like probably not a person in the United States. Uh, anyways, then she sends me a picture of her ID. And she, right, her ID, the same name, Marie, as her freaking Twitter, right? And it says like, not for federal identification. I think that's because it's not a be real ID. But anyways, 18 year old girl in Arizona. And I'm like, well, people move, like you get IDs different places, right? Like maybe she's not in Arizona. Maybe they were like traveling to Chicago. I'm making every excuse in the world for this girl. I just realized my AC's on, hold on. She sends me her ID. And she said to show I ain't gonna scam you. You know how this men be. And I know how these men be. I do, okay. And then I just sent her the $150 because I saw her ID. She sent me, ow, ow. Are you, look how deep my hair is in my nails right now. Okay, these acrylics need taken off stat. I just sent her the $150. I see that ID and I'm like, I will sue you if you don't, whatever. Obviously this Cassandra Marie Arazu is probably not this person I'm talking to. I don't know where they got the picture of this ID. This person probably like got paid $5 on a random app to upload the picture of their ID and now it's being used to scam people. So she said, didn't get this one. Try resending ASAP. That's when I'm like mother. I 100% sent this money, right? And I sent her a screenshot of the two money going out of my account. And I said, no bro, I sent it. That's the confirmation. Send me the ticket, please. And she said, he didn't get it. Try resending, I'm a girl. Bro is a unisex term. First of all, I said, I'm not resending. It's going to come out of my account again. I sent it. She said, I'm serious, babe. I swear he's about sending the tickets. Just the English is so bad. At this point, I know I'm scammed, right? And I said, me too, question mark. I sent the money. This isn't some random platform. It's bank account to bank account. She said, please, to avoid issues, can you do that, please? You know how this men, I said, no, send my money back. Someone else will buy your tickets. And she said, babe, he is sending three times tickets. I said, question mark, question mark, no. You're scamming, you said you have two to sell. I was buying two. I'm not scamming, I swear with my late mom grave, I'm not a leer. That's the last thing I would do, is to scam. And I said, I requested my money back. I sent the money, I'm not playing, send the money or tickets. Okay, if you say so, what's the zell? I said, it's da 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 da. I'd love to have the tickets. And I did send $800 total. She said, please do what I said. I said, no, send tickets or money, please. If you transfer the tickets right now, I'll send $100. I was desperate. Why not send that now and get your allowance? I said, my allowance? Question mark. Send the tickets. I'm reporting you to HS ticket help and you won't be able to sell them to anyone. She said, please do what I said. I said, please send them. I'm not doing that. I got a confirmation that you got it. I'm not a child. I'm a grown woman. I know tickets or money. She said, see, believe me. I can't believe this girl is even like still messaging me at this point. Like she got her freaking $800. I could just throw up about it. You know, I said, it's not belief. It's fact. You got the money. I'm telling you send a $50 and see if you don't get it. Call me a bastard. I said, sorry, no, send me the tickets and I will. Like, why would I send her another $50? For what? I said, please send tickets or money or I am filing a small claims lawsuit against both of you. Listen, okay. The number that she gave me for Darrell Custon, I called him. It said, hey, this is Darrell Custon, leave a message, whatever. Darrell Custon is a real guy. And I called him, I said, Darrell, what the hell is going on? 
somebody scamming with your, I sent money to you, send me my money back on Zelle right now. Then I find everything about this man. I pay a dollar to do a background check. He lives in Pennsylvania or New, Jer New Jersey. He lives in New Jersey. He's got a child. I'm friends with half his family on Facebook now because I'm just livid, right? $800 is not a small amount to be scammed of. He works in a chicken joint. He's got a LinkedIn account and he's got a child and he's got a lot of family on the internet. And I text him. Let me see if I have screenshots of my text with him because I might. Here's a screenshot of his LinkedIn. Um, here's his Facebook and his baby. I sent him this. I said, send my money back or let a judge tell you to. And I had his address that was on this background check, which is scary how easily you can get someone's address if they've like filed taxes or applied for a credit card or like literally anything there. And I said, not to mention it's criminal activity. Oh, okay. Like he didn't know that, like what the hell? And then I sent him his address. Like I'm gonna come, I'm coming, Darrell. I'm coming for you. I didn't come for him. It's not on here, but he texted me back. He said, I'm not your scammer. I don't know what you're talking about. I said, I, a Zelle account is attached to a phone number. It has to be like legit. It doesn't just work like that. And it's your phone number and I sent you money. So send it back to me. And then he never responded. And that's when I sent the small claims thing and his address. He's like, I'm not your scammer. So I don't know what you're trying to do. I'm trying to scare you. Apparently it isn't working. Here's the issue with small claims. You have to 100% have their address right so if they never technically get served it to their face they're not served right second it's complicated because it's like a cyber thing and i'm in missouri and he's in new jersey and to i would have had to travel to new jersey to go to court with him and i'm like that's gonna cost me half the money that i need anyways and I'm friends with a bunch of his family on Facebook now. And my plan was to DM them, DM them, message them, message them. So that's the story of how I was scammed. But then fast forward a couple days later, I don't know, maybe a week later, enough time that the initial hardship had passed. So as said earlier, I'm sitting at home, I'm sweating, I'm watching the people pour into the Harry Styles concert, I'm jealous, I'm so jealous. I'm texting my best friend, the prices are falling, <laughs> are you sure you don't want to come to St. Louis? And I felt really guilty because I didn't feel like I could go without her, you know, because she is a way bigger Harry fan than I am, like that's her man. So I'm watching the tickets fall and I make a TikTok in the evening saying I'm watching these prices fall. I might just buy them if they keep falling and go by myself. Well, Harry Styles is in St. Louis tonight, and I just so happen to live a 10 minute walk from where he's performing, but the tickets were a little expensive and I was going to go to Chicago and they're too expensive in Chicago too, so I just decided not to go. The cheapest ticket, like a few days ago, was $300 and now the cheapest ticket is $180. So since I live 10 minutes away, I will be watching to see if the tickets plummet in the 15 minutes before the show, and I will be there. <laughs> and it blew up. The video has like, I don't know, 1.2 million views. And that, it blew up like right away. So it's immediately validation. So everyone's like, oh my God, how? Like da 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 Maybe we should do this, like tagging their friends and stuff. And I was like, mm, yeah, I think I need to pull the trigger on it. And I was inviting my boyfriend to come, but he didn't want to go with me. And they were quite expensive still, like to pay for two people for a second concert ticket for somebody that didn't even like want to go, you know? So what do I do? I finally bought tickets at 740. The concert started at eight. And I was scared because at this point, all the tickets are resale tickets and they get transferred to you. So I was like, hopefully they come quick, which by the way, I've never had an issue of last minute concert tickets coming right to me. This was the first time I bought a last minute concert ticket, but since then I'm less, I'm a hoe for a last minute concert ticket, okay? So I ended up paying, I think $170 total after taxes for section 114 row in and 
the way like the stage at um harry styles love on tour was like the whole center right so um i was like pretty close to the end of the stage at one end um and basically i bought the tickets at 7 40 i got ready really quick i made myself a little pineapple mimosa and got ready really quick and then i like made a tiktok that i was going and like a me going and like that blew up as well and it was a really cool experience i'm really glad that i went and did that when i first got there i like i didn't feel like i needed to be with anyone because at concerts you don't really talk to anyone anyways but when i first got there when i was waiting in line at the drink line first of all it was electric in there the way like the way a concert is when it's proper fangirls is just an entirely different vibe people were dressed to the nines it was so cool and when I was in line waiting to get a drink, I like met some girls and I was literally just like, hey, can I hang out with you guys? And like stood with them while we were in line for drinks. And I think they were in pit or like way closer than I was, but they were somewhere else. So then I parted ways. I literally went to my seat. I was right on the end of the aisle just by myself. I did have to kick somebody out of my seat though, which is a little awkward. I hated to do that. Cause it was like one girl that was by herself and then like her friend who had also come by herself. And then she was like in my seat and I was like, you gotta go and i came after i didn't watch the opening act because from the time it took me to get ready get over there and then um like get my drink it was just in time for harry to come on so like the kind of rabbit and stuff was already on the screen and it was like almost time when the concert was over i thought it was intermission okay obviously from the story time you can tell that i'm not the brightest right and I'm like, whoa, everybody is peeing during this intermission. Everybody's leaving their seats. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> and these, I'm seeing that like people are walking down into the pit and up out of the pit. And I was like, I'm getting in the pit right now. I'm getting in the pit and then I'm gonna be in the front and then I'm just gonna go feral. This was before feral was a cool word to use. And I get down there and there's like some girls sitting down and I was like, hey, do you know like, when the intermission is going to be over or how long the intermission is going to last. And the reason I talked to them is because I was scared I was going to get caught being down there. So I immediately like, tried to look like I belong there. And they're like, oh, I think it's over. <laughs> and I was like, oh. And then I walked home because I live two blocks away. And the concert is all a blur. It's literally such a blur. I have a lot of videos and stuff, but it was a really good time. And that's the story time of how I got scammed out of $800. Still do not have the $800. Have about 20 new Facebook friends. And got to see Harry Styles, still. <laughs> thank you for watching. If you have watched this far and you are not subscribed to me, you should be. And thank you for coming back to those of you that already are subscribed to me and I haven't posted in so long. Love you guys. Bye. Just bought Harry tickets 20 minutes before the show and I'm going by myself. I bought Harry Styles tickets literally 20 minutes ago. I watched them fall all day. The show is starting right now. I'm in my apartment and I'm about to go to this concert by myself. Cheers to that.